Good morning, fans, friends, and first time viewers. Woo, that was some good coffee. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, getting ready for this this winter. A lot of fun. Salt spreader. <laughs> well, come on. Let's go. There you go. Fire. Where you go? Calling foods once there was a fire in the kitchen. Got out of control. <laughs> we were out having smoke and one of our dishwashers come out, didn't speak any English. Fuego in cocina, fuego in cocina. And we're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> fire in the kitchen. <laughs> it was at that point we decided, yeah, I think it's, we should learn some Spanish. <laughs> Guitar coming along? The guitar yeah, I got to, The cutting uh, board, right? Yeah, I got a... Anyway, so I gotta work up a jig so I can use this plunge router, see it's flat there, so I can go and get the right for oh, these yeah. three places. And you can put different types of wood. There you go. The pickups will be like this. Oh, okay. These will be the four knobs. Obviously, they won't stick out like that. Yeah. The back, which is called the bridge, where the strings would actually attach. And then there's one more. This will be a little slimmer in there. That's sick. And then, uh, what do I have? Where is it? This here will be the guitar pit, the pick, pick guard. You know how they have that little thing so when you're strumming it, and that'll kind of follow this pattern. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited to see that done. Then fit in there, and there'll be a handle to pick the oh. thing out, which is the fretboard, <laughs> which is actually what they make out of fretboard. This is uh, rosewood. Oh, this is my uh, dad's woodworking shop, but it's also my grandpa's original woodworking shop. All these, I remember these, these are from the bracelets he used to make. Like the wooden bracelets. A lot of uh, remnants of grandpa here, you know. Also a lot of remnants of my dad. <laughs> like projects and stuff. Pretty cool. My grandpa was huge on the lathe. This lathe right here, basically what it does is it spins wood and you use these tools to carve stuff. My grandpa would make bowls. He would make bracelets, you know, stuff like that, handles for tools. Um, my, my mom, back in the day, when I was a little kid, she was really into lighthouses, right? She, you know, she loved lighthouses. So I was like, I'm gonna make a lighthouse for my mom. So, you know, I carved it out of wood and shaped it all up. You know, it was a lathe, so it had to be symmetrical on all sides. <laughs> and I gave it to her for Christmas. And I remember when she opened it, everybody was laughing. And I thought they were laughing about how bad my lathing skills are. <laughs> um, you know, but she's like, no, I really like it, it's great. And everybody was laughing, but I didn't get the joke. Until years later, I'm sitting there and I look at it and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that's a wooden penis. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make a lighthouse and made, made a wooden penis. <laughs> 
Hey, Dad, is this a project you started or is this a full grandpa started? This is a full grandpa started. Oh. <laughs> he, so this one is, day he'll get finished. Yeah, this is the last bull, like the last bull he did, huh? It was the uh, last, last bull he made on a lathe, and he made a lot throughout his life. You know what I mean? So that's pretty awesome. <sighs> you wanna follow me? Yeah. <laughs> follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. So this, this is on vlog, so I gotta get this on vlog, Dad. <laughs> I gotta use the bathroom. Oh. Look how much, look at the, look at this girl's bathroom with my dad, the paint, the color my dad chose. Pink! <laughs> this is the girliest bathroom you'll ever see. <laughs> he didn't go as blue as he went pink there. Did he park in the, um, in the, uh, handicap or something? No, double. Okay, hold on. Oh, we throw it so far in there, gets on the floor. <laughs> The blue plate. You can sit wherever you'd like. Okay. Um, we'll sit with him. <laughs> See behind you on those plates are blue. Those are, it's called Delft Blue. Delft, D E L F T. Yeah. If you see stuff like that, pick it up no matter what it is. Okay. Um, do, do you have Tabasco? Yeah. No. You want a jelly for your muffin? No. Look at that. Anyways, so what they do is they make the piece of pottery. Before they fire it, they stamp it. Sometimes it'll be a black or Thank green you. or blue. Then they, they fire it, they put the overglaze on, and they fire it again. So it can't come off. It's under the under. Oh, okay. That still counts as a dad joke. Dad joke is anything that doesn't have really any cussing. Right, well, that's way too far. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Right there. Actually, we want a little more room to crawl underneath there, so go a couple more times. This all might be for not John, but we'll see. That's not going anywhere. Okay. Well, we got here. Let me go under there and try that. Just to, the, the, that's what we need to worry about. Go it, under there and try. So that? yeah, it needs. It, we're worried about it falling on us. So if I go under there and then try that, then we'll know if it'll fall on us or not. <laughs> oh man. Right, it's pulling it from the bottom, is it? The main problem we're having is the alternator is a chore to get out. It's in there super tight. Our original plan was to put it up on these jack stands and drop it through the bottom, but it's even tighter there, so that's not gonna work. And so here you see us removing radiator hoses. That's why there's antifreeze all over the ground and just trying to come up with a plan of action. So this is the 55? Yeah. Specialty tools for everything. I mean, even Volkswagen, mm -hmm. for uh, doing specific jobs, they actually have a specified 40-piece toolkit that's for Volkswagens only. And the only way you can work on your Volkswagen is if you buy that $150 40-piece set. Buy it. Sounds good to me, sir. My name's Jordan. Jordan. I'm not a sir. All right. I was never knighted by the queen. <laughs> How dare you assume his gender. Oh. <laughs> Later, Mike. Later. Not if it's oil. Water's good. Water's good. You don't like working on Mercedes, huh? I don't like working on things that are just 
built where I can't work on them. That was, if that thing is stripped, that would suck so bad. Ah! She started moving it. We went to uh, Napa and got the wrong part because we thought the wrong part was the wrong right part. Yeah, that's on there. Yeah. Okay, that'll be it. So okay, we'll start again the next time. Okay, so at least we know what we're doing. Yeah, so, so we'll get the belt off. I have a feeling the radiator shroud's got to come out. He had it out in his photo, yeah. this whole thing here. Okay, what I want you to do uh, tonight or whenever you have a few minutes, find this make and model car, uh, find a, uh, a diagram of the serpent belt running, yeah. and then do a screenshot. Okay. You know what I mean? No, obviously Mercedes is not gonna drop down through the bottom because you've got this big frame part right here and then you've got your other frame part right here. Yeah. It ain't coming out to the bottom, no fucking way. Okay, so this space right here seems to be the space that comes out. And yeah. we, we might need to just get the extra couple inches from this. Mm -hmm. So also uh, do, do on how to remove the, the fan shroud. Okay. See if you can find something on that. And then uh, save the link so we can watch the video together and figure out, okay, this is the correct way because you want it to go back the right way. Yeah. His hands look like that, so mine can look like this. Working on cars and you got that engine grease on your hands. Let me turn this on. <laughs> it's um it's called orange. It's got like little flakes of orange peel. No, it's got pumice. It's got pum and pumice. Um ah, which is also really good on crackers. We'll get this going. Thank you, Dad. I really appreciate it. And then uh so it might snow tomorrow. My dad's warming up as you can see the plow truck so if you need help with that tomorrow like i said i'll be off at 7 a.m what do you think should we hit the car wash real quick like it's gonna snow which is fine but uh <laughs> it is way too dark for what time it is it's only almost six o'clock um it's kind of crazy right anyways it's crazy dark it's starting to snow and this video is gonna be a little short today because i just got called in to work and with the nature of what i do for work i can't really um like build there i'll explain that later but uh um, yeah, so I'm just on my way to work right now. So thanks for watching. If you like these videos, do me a favor. Please like and subscribe. It helps the algorithm. It's going to help the channel grow. I'm going to continue to do this whether I have six subscribers or seven subscribers. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching.